Hi everybody, hope you're keeping fit and healthy. We're going to do another nice, comfortable 30 minute session. Start off with some mobility to loosen up the joints, get the muscles warm, and then go into the exercises. So, make the exercises as comfortable as possible for you. Uh, I will give you different ways of performing the exercises so that they're comfortable for you rather than trying to make them too hard. Or if it's too easy, you can up it and make it a bit more difficult so you find the workout being more challenging for yourself. Okay, so we'll start off on the floor. Uh, we want to mobilize the uh, spine. So we want to get the whole spine mobilized, we want the hip mobilized, and then we get the arms mobilized, and we get started after that. Okay, so first thing, make sure you've got your mat, or if you're on the carpet, perfect. Down, sit on your ankles, begin with just to open up the ankles, loosen them out. Deep breath, and we're going to a nice child pose. Chin tucked in, and we slowly come up. And to a downward dog, pushing those heels as far down as possible. Deep breaths in and out. And then back into your child pose. Sit back. Tuck your chin in. Try and bring your hips as far back as possible. If you can, touch your heels. And then back up. Heels down. Deep breaths in and out. And we do just once more. Back, tuck your chin. Up, heels to the ground, deep breath. And relax. Okay. Okay, I'm going to face you to the next exercise. I have my right foot in front. Get both my hands to the floor. So I want the hands inside of my right leg. We're going to start off with your right hand and what we'll do is try and aim, getting your elbow as far down as possible, touch to the ground and then come up with the hand, rotate and try and reach towards the ceiling. So really rotating and reaching towards the ceiling, opening up the thoracic spine, back down, opening up your hip as you drop down and then up, two, and go down, Three, and relax. That same leg, straighten out, so you're balancing on your heel. And with your left hand, we're gonna try and touch the toe of your right foot. So just going as far forward as possible. One, two, three. Fantastic, I hope you've all managed to do that. Same leg, we're gonna bring it to the side. Bring both hands to the floor. And then we're just going to try and sit back and come forward. So we really should feel on the inside of your thigh. And go one, two, and three. Fantastic. I hope you managed to do that. You change legs. Left foot forward. And again, both palms on the floor. Hands on the inside of your left leg. And we'll start with the left hand. And go down, up, rotate. Up, rotate. Two, and one more. Down, three. Fantastic. Good, down. Okay. Get the left leg forward on your heel. And this time around, we're going to try and touch with our right hand. Uh, far forward, lean, one. Two, and three. Lovely. Same leg. Bring it to the side. Palms on the ground. And then we're just going to sit back. One, two, and three. Lovely. And we come up. Yeah, I hope that's already starting to feel loose on your hip, on your spine area. I'm going to take the right leg over the left leg. With my right leg, the one that's come in front, bend your knee slightly, lock your left knee. So 
Right leg is a bit more relaxed. We're going to take a deep breath and we're going to try and touch down to the ground or to your toes and back up. One, two, and three. Good. So that is really pull the left hamstring and calf muscle. Still staying there. We extend our hands right to the top. And we're going to push the hip towards the left and the hands go towards the right. So we need to go one, two, and three. Fantastic. Then we change over. When to get the left leg forward, relax, lock your right knee or fully extend it. Deep breath and then we slowly go down. Touch your toes or the floor and back up. One, two, and three. I'll be still staying there. Take a deep breath, hands straight out to the top. And this time we're taking the hands to the left, hips to the right. There we go. One, two, and three. Fantastic. Good. Okay. Now you should feel a bit more relaxed. Uh, just last stretch. I'm going to rotate those arms back. One, two, three, four, five. And we rotate forward. One, two, three, four, five. Good. Good. That feels a bit looser. So, I'm going to start off with jogging on the spot. I'm going to time it. After I say stop, we're going to take our legs a bit wider, toes facing slightly out. So when I say wider, wider than hip width apart. And we're going to squat. We're going to go for 15. After we finish there, bring your feet closer, just shoulder width apart this time. And we're going to lunge. But the way we're going to lunge is we'll start off with the right hand side. So you take the left, right foot to the side, rotate your left leg, bend down, up, and we do it to the other side, and we change, okay, and then we go back to jogging, so it's jogging, squat, lunge, jogging, and then we stop, and we repeat that again, and I'm just going to move my mat slightly out of the way, because I don't need my mat for that exercise, okay, we get started, set, it's just 20 seconds, ready, go. Jogging on this one. Okay. You find it's a bit easy, add weight to your knees, so you create your bigger stride or higher, and that's going to fatigue you, We're almost there. Okay. Make sure you're breathing in and out, and relax. Okay, legs slightly wide, hands out. And squat down. One. Now, just before we get started, for those who find it hard, you can always grab the wall up and down or grab a chair and you can go for your squat. Okay? Just make it comfortable for yourself. And we go. One, two, three, four, five. I'm just going to turn around. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Again, we turn around just so you can see my posture, my position. One, two, three, four, five. That's fifteen. Well done. Good. Okay, we're going to go into the lunge. Legs, make sure at the right position. And we're starting on the right hand side. Out, turn, down. One. Change. Two. I'm going for 20. So 10 on either side. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Ten. Nine. Breathe out as you come up. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, 
three, two, and last one. One, and we start jogging. Jog, 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 jog. Really need now. 20 seconds. Again, remember you get to get up if you want to. Last 10 seconds. Get, get, get. And get your breath. Perfect. Add set one. We get back into position. Again, take your time. If you need a bit more for breather, take it. If you just want to do 10, that's fine. It's going to be comfortable for you. Okay, ready? I'm going to set two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five to go. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, and get your breath. Legs at the right position, starting on the right hand side. We're going for a count of 20 again. Ready, and we start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Again, make it comfortable for yourself. Don't have to go too quick. Take your time. Make sure you're breathing in and out. That's 12. You know, we just want to make sure we're feeling the exercises, feeling the muscles working. That's 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And we'll be going to have a jog, 30 seconds. Yeah, it's going to be comfortable. You have to enjoy the exercises. Don't get too stressed about it. You slowly, gradually will build up to make it harder and challenge yourself. Yeah, almost there. That's 10 seconds. And 20 seconds, good. Hope you've got your breath. We're back on to the next exercise. So what we want to do is a walkout. So really challenging the core, uh, getting the abdominal region really working, getting your shoulders working, uh, and your legs to some extent because you will stretch out. Um, so with a walkout, walking forward, and then we walk in with our legs. And now, once you get to that position, what I want you to do is, you're going to turn around and walk out again. And walk forward with your legs. Turn around and we walk out again, yeah? So we're going to do a total of 10. One, two, three, and we get to 10, okay? And again, make it comfortable. If you find it's hard to just go straight down, you can come down from here. Walk out and then come in with your legs. It's going to be challenging enough for yourself. Uh, if you want to make it harder, you go ahead at a faster space, uh, speed, sorry, and that way you make it a bit more challenging for yourself. Okay, ready? And we're going to go for ten. And we're going down, walk, and walk in. Turn around and we go down and walk. Make sure to take your deep breaths in and out, two, there, and more up. That's three, four, breathing in and out, five, I'm going to make one really challenging one, I'm just going to walk. Six, seven, two breath, move out, eight, and 
again. Nine and last one. And walk down, forward, and walk in. Ten, fantastic. I hope you've all managed to do it in whatever manner you have whether it was bending down a bit and going, or whether you've done the full walkout. Really good, it's only one set of that one. So it's pretty, it's hard, but at the same time it was just one set, and we can move on to the next exercises. Okay, so the next exercise we want to do is do some balancing work. I'm gonna stand on my right foot, I'm gonna take my left leg back so I can balance, get the leg straight, Try and touch the floor, back up, leg forward. If you find that hard, as long as you come till there, leg is still hanging, that's good enough still. Yeah, make it comfortable and we're going to go for five on each leg. So we do five right, five left, and then we'll do another exercise, which I'll show you as soon as we finish this one. Okay, let's get started. Stretch out, back, Again, like I said before, this is a really good exercise. The more you can learn to do this exercise, the more comfortable it gets. Really good for your sports, good for your running. Two. Three. Four. Last one. Five. Fantastic, good. I'm gonna turn around so you can still see me balancing with my left leg. And when you're ready, and we're gonna go one, two, three, four, and last. Five. Lovely. I hope you've all managed to do that one. After that, just going to pull my mat a bit in. We do some push-ups with the push-ups. Beautiful variation. So either you find normal push-ups are quite hard, just on your knees, hips slightly forward, hands a slight, slightly wider than shoulder width apart. We come down and back up. If you can do a normal full push up and come up or up, we're going for 10. Okay, so let's get into position. Get ready. And we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Love them. Help you all manage to do that. And we just move the mat again a bit apart of the way. And we go again on the balance. We start again with my right leg. Get your breath. Feel comfortable. And we get started. So, right leg. Stretch, stretch, stretch. And back. One. Two. Just going to do facing you. Three, four, and last one, five, good, left leg, and ready, let's go, one, two, and face you, three, Four, five, fantastic, get the mat again, and back to our push-ups, get ready, we're going to go for ten again, up, and go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Hope you've done that so far. Okay, it's we're getting into a nice rhythm now. So, next exercises 
starts getting a bit easier. We do it on the mat, so on the floor. Always find once we get to the floor area, it's a bit more comfortable, a bit more bearable. Okay, so variations of exercises, a couple of different movements. We're going to work the glutes, we're going to work the abs, and we're going to work the shoulders too. So, first exercise, we're going to start with the abs. Just going to work with the right leg. Okay, now, two ways. One, either you just bring the knee in, or if you can, I'm going to touch your toe. So, either you're coming in there, or touching your toe. You can do 10, 10, and on the other leg. Okay, so 10 on the right, 10 on the left. Okay, get ready, I'm going to go for the toe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Get your breath. Change legs and we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lovely. Now, the reason I did that ab work before we go into the glute work is to create a bit of fatigue around the abdominal region so the glutes have to work harder uh, to create the movement. So, on the side, elbow in line with my shoulder. I'm going to be on my knee, bottom leg, bring, bend the leg, hip up, straighten out my top leg, which is my left leg right now. Okay, pull your abs in. And we're just going to go up and down for 15. Okay, ready? And we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good. Bend the knees. We're still up. And we're going to go slowly down. 1. Two, we're just going for five, three, four, five. Actually, fill the abdominal region there. So, obliques working on the side of the abs. So, once we fatigued them, we then have to work them again. So, it's really nice and challenging. I enjoy doing that one. Then, bend your knees, straighten out your leg, elbow in line with the shoulder, hip up. For those that find it hard, you can just leave the hip down and continue the movement. And we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Bend. And we slowly go down. One, two, Three, four, five. Lovely. Good. Let your breath. And then exercise. Next exercise is we're going to do shoulder taps. So hands down. Legs are going to be straight into a nice sort of plank position, but on your palms. Hands are literally below my shoulders. Come into a nice plank position. And once you're ready, we're going to go for 20. Okay, get your breath in. If you get tired, you can go onto your knees and continue going for it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. Good. Lovely. I hope you're feeling good. Yeah, I always say, like I said, once you get to the floor, it's not as challenging, but we can still make it challenging. Okay, abs. We're going to do some sit ups. So it's down, arms fully extended. We come up, reach out, and then back down. 
If you find it hard, hands on your thighs and just drive up slowly, up and down. That is still quite effective depending on what level you are at. If you notice with my feet, I'm on my heels. It's a lot more comfortable being on your heels to perform that setup. Okay? Hands there. I'm going to go for 15. And let's go. One. Two. Three. Make sure you're breathing out. Four. As you come up, breathe out. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Lovely. Good. All right. We'll go to the next exercise. So lying on, on your back again. Pull your abs in. Feet are flat. Knees are bent. Legs are almost hip width apart. So if not, toes, feet are not touching together, slightly apart. Hands on the floor. Pull your abs in so you tuck your hips slightly in. And we'll do a bridge. So a hip extension up and then back down. We're going for 15. And ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, five, four, three, two, one. Get and relax. Okay, get your breath. See how you're feeling. Okay, so we've got another setup that we're going to do. It's a crunch. So, lie down, feet are straight, we'll draw the legs in and we'll take the upper body up. So, you're really crunching in, and then back, in, and back. If you find it challenging, you can do the crunch with a single leg. Crunch in, alternating your legs. Yeah, so just keep alternating. For those who can, we're going to go for the full crunch. So starting fully extended, and we're going for 15. Last and final exercise. Ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15. Perfect. I hope again you've all enjoyed the session. Uh, it'd be good that you can repeat them on a more frequent basis, maybe three times a week or four times a week. Uh, the more times you repeat them, the easier the exercises will get. And you can add more sets to it or you can add more speed to it and that will make you stronger and fitter. And I hope to see you soon again. Take care of yourselves, bye.